so many people have been wondering, and you have been writing us, asking the question, how can Mideast mobs go on a rampage and claim they are doing it because of a bizarre amateur film? We ask ABC's Lama Hassan to track down the man who lit this fuse on Egyptian television and ask what he is saying about what he did tonight. This was the moment on his program, days before the protests erupted here and around the globe. When cleric Khaled Abdullah showed scenes from the anti-Islam film, he then told viewers of his talk show it was very important to defend their faith. So we went in search of him today, finding him at the studio. Today, he says he's shocked at the fury sparked by the movie. He said he was never inciting violence and deplores it. Across the region today, there are differences in how the mainstream and religious media are covering the story of the film and the protests. Well, just a few days ago, news about the anti-Islam movie made headlines here. But today, if we take this liberal Egyptian newspaper, al Shurukh, that story has been replaced by this one. Raft Arabi li diplomacia al Marines. Arabs reject the diplomacy of the Marines. But another newspaper, which is more religious, has this slogan that says, defend the Prophet Muhammad. But read a little closer, and both the religious newspapers and the mainstream media are now encouraging non-violent demonstrations, while demanding the U.S. government introduce a law to stop the defamation of Islam. As for the broadcaster, who was among the first to show scenes of the film, he says the rage aimed at the U.S., which has been simmering for years. When the people here saw the movie, that anger simply boiled over. He has no regrets, he tells us, but hasn't shown the movie again. Lama Hassan, ABC News, Cairo.